Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well, what we're going to do today is build a quick one-page scrolling site with Elementor. We did this a couple of days ago with the Divi theme and somebody said, how do you do it with Elementor? Very easily. So I've got a fresh install of WordPress here. Just using the default 2020 theme. I've installed Elementor for anybody that doesn't know how to do that. Just go down to your plugins. Hit add new. Type Elementor in the box there. And you can install it that way. There's also uh, my affiliate link below this video if you want to. We're using Elementor free, so this is at no cost and it is a fantastic free plugin. So, presuming you've got Elementor, just install it and activate it. That's where we are at the moment with this. Let's create a new page. So I'm going to go up to the top, new page or we can go to pages and new do it that way okay give it whatever title you want now I'm going to use over here on the right hand side under templates if that's not down like that it's page attributes just hit the little arrow I'm going to use element of full width so we'll still be using the nav bar from the original theme which is the 2020 I'm going to hit the edit with Elementor button up the top here and here we are so I'm gonna hit the little folder icon right there I'm gonna use one of their templates and there's a lot of templates to choose from. A few limited with the free version. You get a lot more with the pro version, obviously. But I'm going to go ahead and let's just use this one right here. It's a free one. Now, they recently changed a bit. If you try and insert this, it, it may ask you to sign up to their or create an account on Elementor. That's absolutely fine. It's absolutely free. doesn't cost a thing. So once you've done that and inserted it in the page, there we are. We've pretty much got our site here. <laughs> Obviously, you're going to want to put in your own content. And to edit any of these fields, just simply go into the block. Put in your own images simply by putting it in here. And you can pull in whatever logo or whatever it is you want to put in there. I'll just throw my logo in there quickly. Same with all these, I'm not going to do them all. You can either just click on them and edit them that way. Same with any of the text modules. And again, just go into any module, change the images out to whatever you want. Text, text, just go through. Very easy indeed. So we've got our basic structure. Like I say, I'm not going to go through and do all these. You can do those if you wish. So we really need to create a menu now so that we can scroll to these sections. So blue tab for a section. Let's go into the section. Just click on the middle one right there. Go over to advanced. And we need to give each of these sections what they call a CSS ID. So advanced. Open the advanced tab up the top here. You're going to see CSS ID. We'll use ID rather than classes for this today. So we're going to say contact for this sort of contact section. And let's call this one dessert if I can spell it. Advanced CSS ID. Breakfast whatever you want to call yours it really doesn't matter just as long as it makes sense it's got to be unique I'll leave that one and we'll do the top one our food CSS ID I'll just call it food And let's call this one home. Okay. 
again you can call it what you want because we're just going to use these to link our custom links in the menu and you can give the link name anything you want so we've got home food breakfast dessert and contact so let's publish this Now let's go back to our dashboard and create the actual menu so we can scroll to these. Let's go back to the dashboard. I'm going to go down to appearance and menus. I'm going to give it a menu name. Whatever you want to call it as long as it makes sense to you is fine. Hit the create menu button okay that's the page we just created right there don't want to add that to the menu we're going to use custom links today so if we go down to custom links first one's going to be home and we called it home our css id was home h-o-m-e and each css id needs to have a hashtag and then the word and what we want it to say in the actual menu just say home add that one and next one I think was called foo so it's hashtag and then CSS ID name that we gave it which was food and call it what you want our food we'll add this one next one I think was breakfast hashtag CSS ID name that we gave it yeah not putting a lot of thought into these names but obviously you get the idea and was there one under that for contact I can't remember I know there was contact oh desserts wasn't it there we go next one was desserts And last but not least was contact, wasn't it? Hashtag CSS ID name, we gave it contact. Link text. And add it to menu. Now you can move these up, up and down wherever you want them simply by left clicking and dragging them to where you want. If you wanted to make it a sub item, just click it and drag it slightly to the right, drop it, and that will become a sub item. And as you can see, it says sub item there, but I want that as a main item. OK, let's save this menu. Now we actually have to assign the menu and tell it where it's got to go. So we can click over to our manage locations here. And we can put it in wherever we want to. There's our menu. I'll just put it in everywhere as it's the only menu we have. I'm going to leave that one blank actually. Social, that's a social one. Let's save changes. Now we have to actually assign this page that we created as the home page for the site. To do that, go back into the appearance, customize. I'm not sure if I mentioned this, we're just using the default 2020 theme. Let's go down to home page settings. A static page and we want to select the page that we just created there it is and there's the menu we created at the top there so let's publish this let's actually visit the site There's our site. Let's see if this is going to work. Home, I don't need to click on because we're already there. Let's go down to our food. Breakfast. Desserts. Contact us. There we go. And we've got it back to the top button here. So there you have it. There is how to quickly 
design a one page scrolling site using the Elementor theme. Couldn't be easier. And like I say, for a free plugin, that really is awesome. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.